Hey everyone, Mac here. Today I want to share something important for anyone using the Atomos Ninja TX with uh, ProRes RAW. A few weeks ago I ran into a strange issue when recording in ProRes RAW. I saw artifacts uh, in the footage. Um, these didn't appear in any other ProRes formats like 42 or HQ. Uh, they even shifted uh, when I adjusted the aperture. Um, originally I planned to create this video just to highlight the, the issue, but as I was working on it and collaborating with Atomos, they were able to replicate the problem based on a uh, detailed breakdown I provided, testing different cables, cameras, and formats. Um, thanks to that collaboration, they quickly developed a firmware update, version 12.0.2, to fix it. Now, um, I wanted this working because in the future I plan to compare ProRes RAW on the Ninja TX to Blackmagic's B-RAW on their uh, 12G uh, HDR 5-inch uh, assist monitor um, once the update supports the FX3A, uh, which I think should be in the next month or so, I believe. Um, so uh, in this video, I'll show you how to update the firmware and we'll see if that resolves the problem. Right, so let's get this going. Um, by the way, if you haven't tried these uh, these monitor um, this monitor mount by a small rig for the Hawk Lock uh, system, it's pretty good. You know, it allows me to quickly mount a monitor on with no issues and just lock it in on the NATO rail. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's get a battery in on this. Hopefully this has a charge. Yep, it does. And let's get this going. And uh, yeah, I should be more prepared. Um, I need a cable. There we go. I'm so used to the the older <laughs> Ninja monitor where the uh, HDMI port is on the on the side. Uh, now it's in the back, which is is nice. Um, so I'll plug this in here and turn the monitor on. All right, so we should be able to go in here under info um, or firmware, sorry. And it's, uh, you know, it's currently on uh, 12, 12.0.1, which is unfortunately having an issue, right? So let's see here. Um, so it looks like you can download it. Um, I would not recommend doing it that way. I usually place the file on the card and then update it that way. So that's what I did. And so we have it right here. And there we go. Copying update file. I guess we hit install next. Preparing update firmware. And it's rebooting. And we're doing this together, so if it goes bad, it's <laughs> it's gonna go bad in front of you guys. And then what I'll do is um, I'll probably test uh, test it out and then um, report back. Um, I'll also throw some footage up in here uh, where um, it was having the issue. So you can see exactly what I mean with the artifacts. So I'll throw that up in this area right here. And then um, 
I'll go out and test it and see if uh, if it's still occurring. Mainly the artif uh, the artifact showed up, as I said, uh, when the aperture shifts, right? So um, this would show up in the highlights and sometimes in the shadows as well um, at those uh, lower frame rates. I think it was 24, 25, 30 frame rates. I didn't uh, I didn't think to test it at higher frame rates, but I predominantly shoot in 24 frames unless I'm doing real estate uh, where I shoot in 60, but it was such an issue uh, even at 24 that I wanted it solved. So that's why I reached out to Atomos. So it looks like it succeeded. That's good, restarting. And then once it does restart, I'll just confirm that the, that the firmware is, is in fact installed. I will say the, the people at Atomos have been pretty good. Um, you know, I think I reached out to them about approximately a week ago, um, and the firmware, working with them, um, they released the firmware for me um, in just a, a matter of days, uh, which was great. Um, where are we? There we go. And as you can see right there, 12.0.2. Um, so I'll do some testing and then uh, um, I'll put in if it was a success or not uh, right after this. Okay, so here you can see that I'm recording in uh, 24 frames per second. I'm in ProRes RAW, um, in S3, uh, S-Log3, Gamut uh, 3. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this box. So I should be able to replicate the issue if it still exists. I will throw the footage here as well to see if it does show up in the footage. Right now it looks pretty good to me. I don't see it on the monitor. Um, I'm going up and down in the, in the aperture to see if it's shifting. You see those artifacts in the monitor um, and I don't. And then I'll also check to see if I see those artifacts in the, uh, the footage. But uh, yeah, I think that was a success. Um, and if so, uh, thanks to the support team at Atomos. Is it good for absolutely nothing? Who here? You. What is it good for? There's no mic in on this. SDI in, SDI out, no mic in, what the hell?